Hi everyone! Thank you for joining me to a new video by Original Video Reviews. As you can see, we have here a new package, the HP Office Jet Pro 6960. As always, we are going to find out, together, what's inside and how to use this thing. So let's not waste any time. Let me grab the Swiss knife, here is the Swiss knife. And we're going to unpackage this thing. Well guys and girls, especially the girls, as you can see we have here the Office Jet Pro 6960. On the top we have an adjustable document feeder which can contain up to 35 pages. This is the flatbed scanner area. By the way, this thing can talk. Hello, my name is Office Jet Pro 6960. You are watching original video reviews. Please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. The 6960 has a 2.6 inch touchscreen. I'm not sure why this thing is not working. Oh, I forgot. I always fall for this. It's not plugged yet to the electricity. This is the paper tray. You can see it's adjustable and you can place inside up to 225 pages. Let's talk about what this baby can do. If you want to print in black color, it will print up to 18 pages per minute in normal mode and up to 30 pages in draft mode. If you're gonna print in colors, it will print up to 10 pages per minute in normal mode and up to 26 pages per minute in draft mode. The 6960 can scan up to 8 pages per minute in black and up to 3.5 pages per minute in color. And it can copy up to 30 pages per minute in black and 24 pages per minute in color. Like I mentioned in the video review I made about the Office Jet Pro 8720, HP claims that the series of its new printers can reduce the expenses per page up to 50% compared to laser printer. And spending less money is something that I approve. I would like us to go over the additional accessories that came with the 6960. So, everything that you see here in front of you was included inside the package with the HP Office Jet Pro 6960. A power cord, a phone code for the fax machine, a setup CD with all the relevant drivers and software. Keep in mind that all the relevant information and data is also available online on HP's website. The most intimidating part in my mind when you buy a new item is that you have to read all the user manuals and the documents that comes with it. As you can see there's quite a lot of those. I guess that in order to make them someone had to cut lots of trees. And I can only hope that this is a recycled paper. This is an explanation slash a warning about the ink cartridges. These two are actually the same one, it's a get started user manual that HP decided to split into two parts like Kill Bill 1 and Kill Bill 2. These two sided animated pages is a set of poster that guides you exactly what to do and let's be honest, this is the only thing that you should focus on. This page, well, let me tell you, I'm not sure if anyone is gonna read this thing, it's a simplified declaration of conformity and HP tips for reducing environmental impact. And if you read Russian or Turkish, hi dear friends from Russia and Turkey, you will find this page helpful also. Keep in mind that HP did not include a USB cable with the 6960. The 6960 uses four separate ink cartridges, black, magenta, cyan and yellow. The specific model of the ink cartridges is 903 as can be seen on each and every one of them. Keep in mind that the ink cartridges supplied are setup ink cartridges. If you're gonna buy normal ink cartridges, they will last between 300 to 1500 pages. Please join me while I proceed setting up the 6960. Like I said, in order to set up the 6960 properly, you need to follow this illustrated guide. So first thing that we have to do is plug the power cord. I'm really excited right now because we're going to launch together the 6960. So three, two, one. The touchscreen is responding well and we need to choose one out of many available languages. Let's choose English. Confirm. Confirm. We're asked to set up the date. Setting the time is very addictive, so if you're not allowed near casinos, stay away from this device. Continue. Continue. We need to raise the top part of the device like this. Let's pull out this plastic part, we won't need it anymore. 
and we insert the cartridges according to the colors that appears on each and every one of them. But before you're gonna insert the cartridges, make sure to remove the orange plastic part on the back of the cartridges. You can see that the 6960 is initializing the ink system. What a surprise, we got confirmation that the cartridges were installed and they are genuine. Okay. Let's load A4 paper into the 6960 so it will be able to align itself. Voila, what a lovely print work. This page reminds me of a child coming back from kindergarten with a painting that he made. Now we place the page on the flatbed scanning area. Okay. And we got confirmation that the alignment was successful. Yes! Okay. Now we're asked to select the connection method. Let's choose the wireless connection. Let's select the Wi-Fi network. Enter the password. Connecting. And the connection was successful. Yes! Uh-oh. It appears that we have a low wireless signal. I'm aware of that, so let's proceed anyway. HP offers to set up their web services. I don't mind to agree to that, but it's just not relevant to certain countries. We don't have much choice if we're interested, so let's choose to accept the verdict. It wants to check the latest updates. OK. Install automatically. And the setup of the web services appears to be successful. Yes! The kindergarten child decided to print another page. HP is asking now to allow them make their products slash services better by allowing them to collect data about us. Like I said in the past, it's funny that a big company asked my permission about something that I'm quite sure that they violated anyway. But I want HP to know that I'm a positive person, so I will give them what they want. Let's choose home, personal use, and we finished another setup phase. What can I say? I'm celebrating the whole setup process. A thank you message. Thank me, thank you. Yes! Now that we finished setting up the Office Jet Pro 6960, I would like to introduce to you its main features. This is the main menu or the homepage of the 6960. My impression is that the display is clear and simplified without HP trying to outsmart the average user. On the upper right side, there is an antenna symbol which tells you if you're connected to the Wi-Fi network. On the bottom of the screen, you can see a blue menu with all the options available in the 6960. Let's go over them. The copy menu allows you to choose between a document, ID card and a photo. The scan menu allows you to scan documents straight to your computer, but in order to do so, you need to define the 6960 on your computer, using the CD that you got with the 6960, or by downloading the relevant files from HP's website. The Office Jet Pro 6960 also has a fax machine. You can send faxes now, or schedule them for later, you can reprint them, and there is a specific setup menu for the fax itself. There is also apps menu with several applications and I can only recommend you to play with them to find out which one is relevant for you. If you choose a specific option and you want to cancel it, you should press the backward symbol on the lower left side and it will take you to the previous menu. The home symbol will take you back to the home page menu. On the top of the screen, you have an additional menu with more information about the device and the network that you're connected to. You can also check the scheduled tasks and you can scroll the upper symbols and choose from them. This one takes you to another setup menu. These two symbols are related to the Wi-Fi network and HP's web services. Here you have info about the ink level left in the cartridges, information about the fax status, and this is an environmental settings menu in which you can set up the following. Two-sided copying, two-sided fax printing, defining the sleep mode, scheduling the device to turn on and off, and you can control the screen brightness. If you want to learn more about the Office Jet Pro 6960, you can press the question mark symbol on the left and open a menu with plenty of options. Two more things that I think you should know about the Office Jet Pro 6960 are Number one is that it works with either Windows, OS, iOS and Android devices. The second is that HP offers 3 years warranty about this device, so make sure to register on their website in order to enjoy that. From my experience, HP's customer service is superb and you can sleep well at night. 
Well guys and girls, especially the girls, this was my video review about the HP OfficeJet Pro 6960 all-in-one printer. If you still have any more questions about this device, please write it as a comment to this video and I will try to do my best to help you with that. If this video review was helpful and you enjoyed watching it, I invite you to like this video. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Original Video Reviews. And there's the Facebook page and the Google Plus page and the Twitter account and the Instagram account so there are plenty of ways for you to follow original video reviews. That's all for today, I would like to thank you for watching another great video by Original Video Reviews, until next time, bye bye.